All right, testing, testing, here we go. Don't mind the sunglasses, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to try a brand new look. I look like I belong in Top Gun or something. <laughs> All right, I can't lie to you guys. I usually don't wear sunglasses, so this looks off. Cause there's an actual reason why I have these on. Last Friday night, I felt a little bit of a bump on my right eyelid and it kind of irritated me. And the next morning, I wake up with a swole eyelid. <sighs> it was a sty. Oh, and if you know, you know. Comment if you've ever had one of these. I used to get these a lot as a kid and it's been years since I last had one. And I haven't been able to film as much as I want to. And after four days of no filming, I decided that this style was not gonna stop me. So instead, let's put some shades on and use this thing to my advantage. Also, I have some crazy distractions like this bright Doja Cat t-shirt. Anyways, like I mentioned, as a kid, I would get these all the time. And some of you may be wondering, put him, what's a sty? Well, have no fear, Dr. Soto's here. I mean, I'm not certified, but. A sty is a little bump on your eyelid. And in most cases occurs when an eyelash or an eyebrow gets stuck in there and you go to sleep. You know, you don't take care of it. You don't take it out. And it, and it irritates a little. Again, don't fully quote me on this. I'm not a certified doctor. However, make sure to always wash your face because these can get annoying. And this one time, I actually had to go to school with one of these. Yeah, I'm not even lying. I feel like I have story times for days now. And I see a lot of you guys commenting that now. Dude has infinite stories. The cool thing about wearing sunglasses is I can stick my face out to the sun and I don't have to close my eyes. So the day that I had to go to school with the sty, I brought sunglasses to the classroom. You know, I didn't want kids looking at it. And the teacher, however, she wasn't a big fan of that. Yeah, my school was weird. No hats, ripped jeans, or sunglasses were allowed. Um, Jorge, can you take your glasses off? Trust me, miss, you don't want me to. This is an order, Jorge. You know you can't wear those. All right, you asked for it. Oh, wow. Um, no, you can keep the glasses on. Kids in school are brutal, too. Jeez, Jorge, what happened? Your mom let you out the house like that? Trust me, I didn't want to come to school either. As I was explaining what happened, kids were less and less interested. And one kid couldn't stop staring at me until the bell rang, and I just felt so uncomfortable. I was actually on the verge of tears at one point, because not even my closest friends wanted to sit next to me at lunch. Jorge is sick! So I knew I had to do something. I had to win them over because I looked like a freaking troll. I literally looked like this guy from Hunchback of Notre Dame. You know, Igor? Yeah. So after lunch, I was saying stuff completely different. But hey, what happened to your eye? Oh, um, I got in a fight. What? Really? Yeah, bro, and trust me, you don't want to see the other guy. <sighs> Again, I had to win them over. And kids didn't know the difference between a sty and a black eye. And maybe I've been overreacting, but this doesn't look too bad today. It's actually going down, because yesterday was brutal. So, glasses off. Hey, you gotta own it. And if that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. I've talked about school fights in the past on my channel, but I don't think you guys understand the literal culture around fights. Half of my class would run top speed towards a fight to see kids throwing hands. And teachers would try to break them up, but nobody would listen. And the best fight fights were the ones outside of school. You know, they would be fighting and rolling on the dirt. Kids would film with their phones, but half of the time, they wouldn't even get the fight in frame. Bad cameramen. Or somebody would get in the way of their shot. So the whole video recorded would be of some random dude's back. So Jorge, who did you fight? Oh, someone from another school. Bro, so you went international? I don't think that's what international means, but sure. Wait, Jorge, you got in a fight? Is that why you were wearing glasses? To cover your eye? Wait, I think that rhymed. Hmm. Dr. Seuss, you better watch out. But my goal was to only get the attention from my classmates, you know, so they can stop picking on me. However, the last thing I wanted was to get the teacher's attention. What's the kid's name and what school? I need to report both of you guys. Um, I don't know the kid's name. Are you sure? Cause I'll call your mom instead. And when teachers get parents involved, that's when you know the joke's over. Okay, miss, I lied. I just didn't want these kids making fun of the sty that's in my eyes, so I lied about this fight. Now I want to cry cause you tried to call my mom. Goodbye. Hmm. Yeah, I forced that to rhyme. Dr. Seuss, you better watch out. So ladies and gentlemen, don't make stuff up to impress others. You know, embrace your flaws. But hopefully this thing goes down soon. Cling, 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 cling. Yes, sir, subscribe to the brand new Clips channel. It's not that brand new, but subscribe to the Clips channel, follow the Twitch, follow the Instagram, all links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Alrighty, where's my hot towel?